you all must be familiar with the story of the ant and the grasshopper. It teaches us the value of hard work and being prepared for the future. The grasshopper, who spent the summer singing and having fun, learned the hard way that laziness has consequences when winter arrived and there was nothing to eat. Do you want to follow in the grasshopper's footstep or learn from the ant's example? Find out more about this lazy bug in this. The grasshopper is herbivorous. Its strong mouth parts and mandibles are adapted to biting and chewing tough plant tissue. When it's laid on its back and dissected, we can see its digestive system, which is made of the foregut, midgut, and hindgut. The foregut starts from the mouth and continues along the esophagus and extends along the crop into the gizzard. Small branch salivary glands lie along the crop. At the other end is the midgut. It has six pairs of enclosed glands called hepatic cecca. There are malpighian tubules at the junction of the stomach and the ileum. The hindgut has ileum, colon and an enlarged rectum which opens to the anus. The grasshopper is herbivorous and has strong mouth parts and mandibles for biting and chewing tough plant tissue. Its digestive system consists of the foregut, midgut and hindgut. The foregut starts at the mouth and continues along the esophagus, crop and gizzard. The midgut has six pairs of enclosed glands called gut and malpighian tubules at the junction of the stomach and ileum. The hindgut has ileum, colon and rectum. Carbohydrate digestion occurs mainly in the crop, while protein digestion and final carbohydrate digestion take place in the anterior midgut cecca. As excretory organs, the malpighian tubules not only eliminate nitrogenous wastes, but also help maintain the proper internal ionic balance in the insect.